Hi everyone, let's start consumer behavior in economics. So we will understand how customer will behave, react when the prices are rising or prices are going down. So how customer will raise demand and demand is going down. So consumer behavior is an important determinant of the type of product a firm must produce, a firm must take into consideration its target, customers' taste and preferences. A consumer is both quality conscious and price sensitive. Consumer behavior assumes that every individual tries to maximize his satisfaction by consuming products and services with the limited income available to him at a particular time. Means customer will spend their single penny where customer will get maximum satisfaction. So preferences versus choice that first we would understand. From a bunch of goods available to a consumer, there may ex exist a difference between preference and choice. When we make preference, we only express our likes or dislikes. Likes and dislikes. We choose something from preferred alternatives that suits our budget. We assume that the consumer has unlimited wants or preferences and numerous alternatives to satisfy them, but the income constraint forces them to make choice. So preference versus choice. And here is utility. That is the term I would also give link in my description box where I had expressed meaning of utility as well as cardinal and ordinal utility. So utility simply means one satisfying power of a commodity. And we can define as the amount of satisfaction derived from the consumption of a commodity. The expected utility from a commodity is the basis of demand for it and resources, income and market prices. The rational consumer will allocate his spending in such a way that the preferred combination gives him the highest utility. So we will take all these characteristics into consideration. One is subjective. So utility, it is a subjective matter. It depends on the individual's own subjective estimates of the amount of satisfaction he is likely to get from a commodity. But utility is, uh, is variable. That would be keep on changing utility of a commodity to a person depends on his intensity of desire for the commodity. The greater the need, the greater is the utility. Lesser is the need, so lesser would be utility. Means where this commodity is exists in your preference list. So utility is different from usefulness. A commodity may possess utility even though it may not be useful. For example, smoking may have harmful effects, but even then it has utility so long as it satisfies the smoking desire of a smoker. Even Smoking doesn't have any usefulness. So utility has no ethical, moral or legal connotations. Then is consumers are rational because customer is very rational and they would spend their money where they are getting maximum satisfaction. So they want to maximize their benefits from consumption and customer always prefer more quantity. Because in the less amount, customer always want more quantity. Consumers are ready to make trade-offs, keeping the total utility and benefits of consumptions unchanged. Consumers are willing to substitute some amounts of one product for some amount of other product. How we can measure this utility? Cardinal versus ordinal. Ordinal always give ranking order. That means suppose we have 10 commodities in our bucket. If I would ask someone, what would be your preference? Which commodity you would like to prefer most and which commodity would like uh, to will give least preference? So he can do ranking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 10. But cardinal utility, that is something different. That always give 
some numbers we that would be countable means if suppose we are consuming 10 fruits in a basket and we are consuming oranges we are consuming banana we are con consuming uh, apple so through these consumption of uh, one uh, particular fruit what is the satisfaction we are getting so we can con we can define in terms of utils so that is cardinal utility approach so utility can be measured and quantified as i said earlier also and utility i could say this one is utility can be measured and quantified utility can be measured into units called utils as i said money consumers is willing to pay for a given unit of a product and independent variables like utility derived from the consumption of one product is not dependent on the utility derived from the consumption of other products. And utility ordinal approach means that could be always ranked, means preferences one, two, three. It cannot be measured in terms of utils. All that is necessary for the consumer is to know which goods or combinations of goods give him same utility and which goods or combinations of goods give more or less utility. How much more or less is not needed. So there is three types of utility, total utility. Here is, this is the total satisfaction enjoyed from the consumption of a good. The more units of a consumer's consume, greater will be the total utility or satisfaction from it up to a certain point. And as the consumer keeps and increasing the consumption, he eventually reaches a point of saturation that represents maximum level of total utility. But marginal utility means add-on, additional. So marginal utility means additional utility derived from the consumption of an addi additional unit of the commodity means nth unit, it means total utility of n units minus total utility of n minus 1 unit. Like symbolically, we can say mu stands for marginal utility and tu stands for total utility and tu n minus 1 means one additional unit when we are consuming. So total utility can be taken as the sum of marginal utilities of various units of commodity and that we can express in these terms. Once uh, I think we can distinguish between both kind of utility and we can understand with the help of this. This is any 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 commodity like we can take it as chapatis when we are consuming what first chapati and we are feeling very hungry. So total utility 10 marginal is also 10. When we are consuming second chapati and total utility is 7 because that would add on and marginal means seven means when we are consuming second chapati that is giving seven utility so 10 plus 7 will become 17 after that when we are consuming third chapati and total utility is 21 and you can say that third chapati is giving only four utility 17 plus 4 becomes 21 and fourth one is at so keep on this one is 22 because 21 plus 1, that would be 22. Fifth one is 22. That is giving 0. Because why 0? Because 22, 0 and that will become total utility will be 22. And six chapati because that is giving negative. So that will become 19 because 22 minus 2, that will become 19. So I hope all these things are clear. Total utility, marginal utility, what could be the formula and all these things. So I hope this video would be helpful to you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.